quick hack tip. Centrifugal pump curves by the John Brooks Company. Pump curves in general represent a pump's ability to develop flow with respect to pressure or head. There can be many separate curves shown on the same plot. Each usually represents a change in pump speed or impeller diameter. In this case, the pump speed remains constant and we are varying the impeller diameter. There are several important features on the sheet. The data block, which notes the pump model, suction and discharge port sizes, impeller diameter, pump speed in RPM, and sometimes the specific gravity of the liquid that the pump was tested on, which is usually 1.0, which corresponds to water. Also shown on the curve is the recommended operating range, shutoff or deadhead, which is the pressure or head at zero pump flow, and runout, the maximum flow region of the curve. Other important information often shown is the power consumed, the efficiency, and the net positive suction head required by the pump, which we will cover in detail in a separate quick test tip. Let's now just look at a single curve and see how it can be used in a real pumping application. First, ensure the pump curve corresponds to the actual pump speed and impeller diameter. Once this is confirmed, we can then take the discharge gauge reading and subtract the suction gauge reading to get the total dynamic head being generated by the operating pump. We can now take this value and plot it on the pressure or head axis. Doing this gives us an estimated flow rate. In order for this to be accurate, the pump must be in factory new condition. Also, the pump's fluid must not have any air increments, and finally the pump cannot be suction cavitated. Other important values like efficiency, power consumed, and MPSH required can also be estimated. In this setup, we can also simulate the pump having to operate at a higher back pressure by partially closing a downstream valve. But we must be cautious that we do not increase the total dynamic head beyond the recommended operating region. Again, subtract the suction gauge from the discharge gauge and plot the value on the curve. A new flow rate along with efficiency, power consumed and MPSH required can be estimated.